Well, good morning. Another beautiful day on the Camino de Santiago. Leaving the Hotel Amana Amanacer in Campos. I highly recommend it. Very nice place. Right? Very nice lady there. Gonna walk 32K. I don't recall the town. <laughs> I don't recall where I've been, where I'm going. <laughs> uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's supposed to cloud up later. There, there seems to be like a five o'clock rainstorm. So as long as you're you're to where you're going by 3.30 or four o'clock, you're kind of safe. And it's chancy to be walking at five o'clock. Uh, so let's go check out uh, Going West on the Camino de Santiago. No reservation. For the four Koreans that stayed with us in the... No. No? They stayed in the village before us. Oh. Leaving the beautiful town of Problacion de Campos. Today's uh, Camino bubble. Not that bad. Two, six, like ten people in this section. Yeah, it's cold. <sighs> Coming up on Ravenha de Campos. Town Square. The typical stork's nest. And leaving it. <laughs> Small town. You can throw a rock from end to end. So check out all the concrete pillars down the road. It's crazy. We were guessing it's probably just to keep uh, cars from trying to drive on this road. Doesn't look good. So there is definitely a walking wounded population on this trail. I bet. 10 to 15% of the people we pass have some kind of limp going on. Uh, yeah, that's a long way to go to Santiago. We're not, we're not even halfway there yet. In the town of Villa Mentero and leaving the town of Villa Mentero. <laughs> Beautiful little picnic area. Just a long straight stretch right on the road. on all of these pillars to start with was a porcelain, but the uh, people who tried to pry them off, I'll show you what they look like now. They've just given up and they just painted blue with a white shell. You can see all of them probably had it. You, you can see the, the uh, remnants of the glue. Coming into the town of Villacazar. I don't see any stork nests uh, on top. And another big sign. up on a gaggle of pilgrims. Boy, <laughs> nothing. More wheat. Coming up on the town of Carrion de los Candes. We're gonna have breakfast. Camino shell that's not, not been stolen yet.
see hikers and I smell food. Hiking shop. Sorry, I have I was like touching my hand and everything. How are you doing? You shoes, these. I'm retiring. They're done. Sir, what's going on? How are you doing, Frank? Now there wasn't much in the backpacking store, so move on. Hostel Santiago. There's another hiking shop. It's another old bridge. Funny that. So leaving uh, the town of Carry on. Another cop. Boy, we've seen a lot of cops. Pretty big river. Wow. Just massively old stuff. I mean, it, it, it's just, you know, so common, nobody even looks at it. Though. That's a door. Door that needs to be repaired. Amazing. So it's one o'clock right now, and you see the Camino. <laughs> it's that post lunch. Everybody stops at lunch, and then they they stay there for the day. Anyway, there's like 17 kilometers left to this little journey. And there is nothing in between here and there. Uh, there's no shops, no food, no water, nothing. So that'll take us about three hours. So we'll be pulling in to the Alberga around uh, four o'clock. And you know, it's clouding up again. It just seems to be the way it is. It's bright blue in the morning and then it will cloud up around one and then rain about five. Just nobody, I mean nobody on this trail, in front or in back of us. But always the beautiful little poppies. So about an hour later, still haven't seen a single soul. We're walking at about 5.8 kilometers per hour. And I'd say most people walk by 4.8? Four, four less than that. Or, or, or less. So in an hour, we should cover an entire kilometer and haven't seen anybody. So it's going to be a very lonely day, but it is cold. And uh, I would bet a lot of people just take a taxi. This is not, not a, a fun place to walk. So these two people just just rode by, didn't didn't ring a bell, didn't do any, you know, just scared the crap out of the coffee bar on the Camino. So somebody lost their shoe, didn't notice it. first four hikers I've seen in an hour and a half. I think two bicyclists are coming up the back of me. So just humongous weed fields. 
just as far as the eye can see. I think we're coming up on a few people who probably left the town at around noon when we left about 1.15. Coming up on some more hikers. Boy, there's a nice little rest stop. Benches, trash cans, lean to, pegs, shocks, flag. Nice. That is a dark cloud. Yeah, I, I think. I think we just saw lightning. Looks like it's moved from right to left. What do you think? They're going to catch that little edge. Maybe, maybe not. We've got about 2.6k to the Albergi. Think we might miss it. It's moving from right to left. Didn't miss the rain. <laughs> there it is. You knew it was going to happen. There's our German friend Uva. <laughs> we caught up to him. Coming into the town of uh, Casa Dilla de la Cueva. Cueza. I, I don't, I forget. Anyway, we're done for the day. That was 33K. Whew. And the last bit has always got to rain. Stay here at the Camino Real Albergue. Check it out.